Today, lots of different devices are powered by a USB. And so is this one, the US Digital QSB. The QSB allows you to do some basic testing with a wide variety of encoders, analog or digital. And you might be asking, why not just use an oscilloscope? And you absolutely can. In fact, this isn't meant to be a replacement for one. Where the QSB really shines is it's low cost, portable, and easy to use. It's a great tool for testing on the assembly line or in the field where you may not want to carry around bulky or complex equipment. The QSB includes open source code and quite a few demo apps, which are useful for people who want to develop their own custom applications. But if you're a more typical user, you're gonna to wanna to see our app called CPR Quick Check for QSB. It works with any encoder with index, and it can help you verify that the encoder is sending a signal as expected. First, enter your encoder's expected CPR here. Spin the shaft, and once the encoder reaches index, the app will tell you if the expected CPR matches that of the encoder. In this case, our encoder is 2500 CPR, and we entered 2500 CPR. So the screen turns green. We're good. If it turns red, the encoder doesn't match. The QSB comes in three different versions. You'll want the S version if you're working with single-ended output encoders with a five pin connector. And you'll want the D version if you're working with differential output encoders with a 10 pin connector. The M version is designed for people who want to develop their own apps and need digital IO or stepper motor control. That's the basics about the US Digital QSB. For more in-depth information, visit usdigital.com. By the way, that app we demoed earlier was developed for a customer at no cost to them. If you have other ideas of what you would like the QSB to do, be sure to let us know.